Hello and welcome back to Pass the Pop Culture. I'm Mr. Fan and I'm with Ricky. What's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about quite a lot of movie stuff, finally. And uh, also give you a little teaser and say, hey, this is what's coming out on the Game Pass. And we're going to talk about ZX Spectrum games. I don't know what those are. All I know <laughs> is there's a bowl. Yes. <laughs> and that's pretty much what just, we're going to talk about today. <laughs> yeah, just a little, a little, little announcement, I guess, mainly just if anyone's yeah. curious or whatever uh, about this. But yeah, so uh, the Xbox Game Pass list for July. All right, we got it. And we got some bangers in here, man. We really <laughs> do. We have my friend Peppa Pig. <laughs> coming but, game of right, the year so, i think yeah game of the year already yo so july 7th we have uh dj max respect five i i don't really i i did you play that i haven't played i haven't <laughs> heard most of these games i'll be honest dude uh, we got match point tennis champions and then road 96 uh july 14th we got escape academy my friend peppa pig uh overwhelm and then another banger uh paw patrol <laughs> the movie adventure city calls and then power wash simulator which is actually a good game. A decent one, yeah. Like yeah. So, uh, interesting choices, I feel like, they decided to put on. Not sure if they're kind of, like, just trying to collect all, like, the Infinity Stones kind of here, you know, kind of thing. Or they're just, like, <laughs> trying to throw everything on Game Pass that they can get. Yeah. Um, Because, like, I mean, I get it. Like, yeah, they're having kids game, but I don't know how many kids, like, that are playing... They're not playing Peppa Pig. They're playing Fortnite. Or, yeah, like, that, <laughs> I, I don't know. How, I, I just... That's an interesting choice for Game Pass, mm -hmm. but you know what? Uh, maybe it's just really good and we don't even know it yet. But yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be on the Game Pass. Uh, so if you guys are interested in picking up those games or planning on, you know, picking up Game Pass, if that interests you, then that's good to know. It's just a little announcement because we just like to talk about, like, what games are coming on to Game Pass because uh, low-key Game Pass. Still fire. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I think is just cool to talk about because uh, I like retro games, I like old games, I just like the pixels and stuff like that. But uh, some old ZX Spectrum games are being released on Steam. Uh, checking out some of the prizes, it's like a, like two bucks a pop basically for some of these games. Uh, if you are interested in seeing some of the games, like straight up getting the Steam link, uh, it is a PC Gamer article. It's called A Boatload of old ZX Spectrum games are releasing on Steam and you can go through them and they have a lot of the direct links so you can buy the games or see what they're talking about. Uh, they have Boulder, Monty Mole, uh, Hungry Horus, uh, one of the other names that <laughs> I probably shouldn't say. But yeah, they're... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that title. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say... Oh, uh, uh... yeah, yeah. We're supposed to say, but anyways, yeah. So basically, these are like old games from the eighties. They're kind of like, uh, kind of have like that ugly color palette, if that yeah. makes sense. Like, the, yeah, that's like I, I think they're cool. Of course, kind of niche, but in any case, anyone's interested in picking them up, like if you like those old kind of games, then yeah, yeah, definitely check it out. They're on Steam. Uh, they're on sale. Some of them even. I think Boulder's on sale. I think that was the one. Yeah, Boulder's like ten percent off. I mean, it's a dollar seventy nine. It's originally dollar ninety nine. It's like what they're a deal. They're like yeah, they're, they're yeah. You're not you're not gonna shell out sixty bucks for an unfinished game here. Damn. Uh, but they have good sales, man. They have good sales on Steam right now. Like Celeste, Shotgun King. You know, they're like basically like Celeste. Uh, I played like the demo, not the demo version, but the version on uh, itch.io. Like that's seventy five percent off right now, so it's four ninety nine instead of twenty. So yeah, uh, Shotgun King. I've been wanting to play that. Apparently that game's pretty good. I've seen some gameplay. Uh, it's five ninety nine, but you know it's ten percent off by thirty nine. But they got some cool stuff. Um, we don't talk about Sonic's Origins though, because that's still that kind of story. <laughs> story. <laughs> story oh, spot. Yeah. I think there's some people. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested in that, go check that out. Just I want to let people know about that because sometimes these things come out and I'm like, what? I didn't know that was out. But anyways, to talk about some of the cooler stuff today, mm -hmm. uh, DC, making, you know, we got the Blue Beetle movie done. We still don't got Flash out. We still don't have Flash out, but we're, we're getting the Blue Beetle movie. So it's just almost done filming. Uh, it I don't comes know. out next year, right? So it's August a, 2023. Okay. So, so yeah, so this was originally going to be on HBO Max, right? And that's what yeah. I wanted to talk about because, so 
because we did have some shakeup that we'd talk about um, a few podcast episodes ago about how that they're kind of trying to get their own Kevin Feige to mm -hmm. run the DC part. Um, I'm trying to think like he wanted to just kind of like move things around, maybe restart. But we do have these movies in production, right? We still got Black mm -hmm. Adam, right? Uh, when's that supposed to come out? I o forgot. October this year. October, yeah. Yeah. And then, so we have Blue Beetle now, which is pretty much wrapping up. It's set to release in August 2023, which is basically still a whole year the away. A whole year, yep. So, not that close to getting the movie. But I saw the costume, right, when, like, they showed kind of, like, the leaks. Uh, that mm. was pretty cool. It was not a CGI fest, right? Like, it was actually kind of practical, and I, I always enjoy practical uh, in movies. But I'm kind of excited because we're getting Blue Beetle. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what's going on with the Flash movie. I don't think. I don't know. If, I don't think it's coming out, man. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think we're okay, getting the here, Flash. Okay. Here's for my a thought because time. I actually there's a clip on TikTok. I don't know if you've seen it. Of I guess like a fan saw Ezra Miller and he wanted to take a picture with him. Mm -hmm. And this is a recording, obviously, because on TikTok. And so Ezra Miller was just like talking, and then he's like, "Hey, you want to get punched in the face or something?" He's like, "Cause I can make that happen." <sighs> And then the guy's just like, wait, what? <laughs> so, and then, yeah. like, on top of that, and so, because the, the movie is done for The Flash. Um, mm -hmm. And so they're trying to figure out if they should release it in theaters or just throw it onto HBO Max and then be done with it. But so, see, like, at the yeah. same time, they're still working with Ezra Miller and they're going to try to, like, right now he's quote unquote healing. Um, <laughs> yeah. I I okay, know, so I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, he's kind of a mess, but I just like just put the movie on HBO Max. I think no, because well, this is kind of jumping to another article, right? Like, mm. but uh, basically, movies are kind of back, right? Like, people are going back to theaters, uh, yeah, and spending money on, mm -hmm. on on tickets and popcorn and all that stuff. Yeah. But I, I guess like we're supposed to hit like one one billion dollars. Yeah, in almost June, one billion dollars. Right, yeah. almost one billion or something like that. And then so we're getting movies back and I think that's kind of why they maybe are deciding to put it in theaters mm -hmm. for Blue Beetle, because they're probably like, oh it could probably get some money then. Uh because throwing on HBO Max is really not like a good way to like quantify if it was worth it, I guess, in terms of spending, because they're always like, well, how many new subscribers you're getting from it? And oh, blah, okay, blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. Whereas, like, a movie is just like, okay, how many tickets you sold? Mm -hmm. And I know that's been like a big problem with streaming movies, and that's why they don't want to put like super big budget movies like this. It's been kind of like a weird thing. Uh, but anyway, so I, I, I kind of excited that, okay, we're getting a theatrical release. I, uh, either this is a sign that they actually trust that the movie's going to be good. Right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me being like kind of that's too optimistic, optimistic in my for opinion. once. You know, <laughs> yeah. like maybe hey, not to shut down this you know? first time optimistic from you, you know, but it's like <laughs> We're gonna, you know, it's like oh man, because I like Blue Beetle. I like Blue Beetle as a yeah. character, and so it's like oh man, like maybe maybe there's a little trust we could put into it if they're willing to be like, all right, let's put it in the theater because they might think it might do well. But uh, I don't know, man. I, after Minions, man, right? What is that like? <laughs> That's like the best selling Fourth of July Fourth movie of July. ever. Just because it's of the like, meme? gosh dang it. Yeah. Uh, but so, see, oh, did you actually hear about that? Because like they wear suits, or whatever, right? Yeah, they they basically everyone goes in suits and like so super like dressed up. They're gonna start stopping that. Yeah. So basically, if you go to, in a suit because <laughs> they like people start getting into fights and like doing crazy things and then like they're disturbing the families there and it's so like come stupid. on man like let's just enjoy the meme first of all it's just, a like, kid go movie <laughs> it's just like, go on the stoop and like act all gentlemanly. <laughs> yeah it's like just act like a gentleman there like that's it's kind of so funny like I, I get it like it's harmless it's harmless right you just go there and then you're like oh okay yeah you look kind of funny wearing the suit to a kid's movie acting all gentlemanly and all that but it's like yeah it's kind of sad but hey it made a lot of money M money money, money. wow <laughs> In the movie. Moody. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I don't so, know. It, that's cool. I don't know. I don't know. Movies are kind of weird right now, right? So, uh, because this is the second time a movie's been carried by memes. Well, uh. <laughs> Morbius doesn't... I mean, Morbius, yes and no. Because I, I, it's like, it's kind of weird because, like, yes, they did. it did flop because they were like, oh, let's release it a second time. But still, like, 
a lot of these, like, same thing with Barbie, right? Where everyone's going to go watch Barbie for the memes, right? Like, a lot of these movies are getting kind of memed right now. And so people are, are going to watch it just for that. So, uh, movies are because there are people who went to go watch <laughs> Morbius for the memes. Like, they didn't get it. Like, they wanted to know if it's that bad. And so it, they, they did kind of help them make money. But the second time, yeah, it, no one wouldn't watch it. And it was a flop. But yeah, like, uh, Everyone was, again, people were kind of memeing Top Gun, mainly with, like, the mustache, right? Like, everyone wanted to get the mustache. And but all that was, that. like, so the I, Chad memes, you know? Yeah, like. but, yeah, so it was, like, it, was a good, it was a good one. But anyway, so, yeah, like, uh, I I want to see this Blue Beetle movie come out. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get that Flash movie. I think they just should throw it on HBO. Of course, they're already going to put this one in theaters. Uh, uh, we're gonna this get... is what I think, and I've said this many times. Mm-hmm. The, the future of DC... Is on Black it's Adam's true. hands. Yeah, I, I, I mean, guarantee it because everything after Black Adam is up for grabs. The Flash is going to come out, so yeah. I mean that's a, whatever. But like Blue Beetle, I think if if Black Adam tanks, it's not going to go in theaters. I'm calling it right now, but I don't think Black Adam <laughs> is going to be terrible. So I don't think so either because it's like. We've been, I don't know, maybe actually, you know, it, dude, we've been hyping the movie up. I'm kind of afraid now. Okay. That's, look. But it's like, look. I don't think it's going to be bad. I don't think The Rock, The Rock look. doesn't really make bad movies. You know what I mean? So it's I like, know. it's going to be always a at least average or better. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's at least going to have a baseline enjoyment. You know what but I look, mean? But look, 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 look. Because I am, you know, Shazam number one, Black Adam also number one. And like, after the solid trailer, I am hyped. But. The Rock keeps mentioning Henry Cavill as Superman. And he's even said on the record, yes, I want to have a big old fight with Henry Cavill as Superman. And I'm going to call it right now. End credit scene, Henry Cavill Superman. If not, hmm. I'm going to hate the movie forever. Like he's going to show up? Even if it's like, uh, you know how in Shazam where he, it's just like his suit? Like, mm-hmm. even if it's like that, but it's just like Henry Cavill's face or something, or his voice, oh, man. Undies will be, need, like, have to be changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I, okay, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, just a little, oh, wait. little, little tease. Shazam's coming out this year, isn't it? Shazam is coming I out. I kind of forgot uh, about that. Dude, like... Hmm... Because, okay, like Shazam, Superman, you know, Black Adam movie would be pretty sick, right? Like, we have that uh, animated movie. Yeah. Like, they can kind of... They just, Two Titans. Literally, versus... they just they just rip that, make it into a live action. I think that change. can happen. I, the Rock is, like, so heavily invested into Black Adam, like, more than he probably should be. <laughs> and it's like, he, he wants to change things. And it's like... Yeah, he's got enough weight, I think, yeah. to like throw around to kind of try to see if we get him to change things. But yeah, <laughs> they, um, I, I I think it'd be good for DC. Like, hopefully, you know, yeah, they're gonna get their Kevin Feige. I think honestly, I feel like with there's a Miller's Flash, and that's supposed to reset everything. They should mm-hmm. just throw it up there, like on yep. HBO Max. They're like, all right, yeah, like just let people know, like, hey, we are gonna like kind of restart, like just. Mm-hmm non-canon or whatever like they want to do it because it's like i think they i think keep the same actors you know because i think the actors for them are fine i think they're good right henry cavill yeah. good uh ben Jason affleck Momoa, i mean he kind of yeah. doesn't really want to do it that much anymore it seems like that's all like our a, fault <laughs> you know but um i think it'll, i think it'll be fine like if we kind of mm-hmm. just like all right let's kind of let's kind of get things let's, let's get some shape to the to the universe here because dude we're like we're on phase like one million for Marvel here, and <laughs> DC still like we did, we barely put out another yeah. Justice League movie. What's a phase? The remake of the first <laughs> one out. Yeah, that's like and we had to like yeah, it was just. I think I think honestly, the solo movies are fine. I think the solo movies are fine. Nothing has to be a big huge crossover. It's just keep the keep the Blue Beetle movie. Just have him do his thing. He doesn't. Mm-hmm. Superman doesn't have to show up. Batman doesn't have to show up. It's just. You know, like do these one-off kind of things, and or do like trilogies, right? Because like, look at the Batman. I think it was good. They're gonna do a little trilogy here and there, you know, and just pretty good to me. We don't. I don't need Wonder Woman to show up out of nowhere, right? Like, it'd be cool, but we don't need it. 
Yeah, and I think like we don't need all these big, huge crossover stuff. Like they don't need to be in every single movie. It's fine, right? But the mm -hmm. problem is like the fans kind of want them in every single movie. So then there are going to be that like people that are like, "Why did not Superman show up?" Blah blah blah. blah. And it's just I like it, it gets kind of difficult. Just be but happy we're getting something. We're, we're, I like Punisher. Keep doing Punisher. I mean Punisher. Oh, Peacemaker. Sorry. <laughs> Keep doing funny. Peacemaker. Sorry, I'm like all over today. So uh, is yeah, uh, Peacemaker. Right, a Peacekeeper. What is it? Oh my gosh, I'm like so bad. <laughs> You're literally making me forget. <laughs> yeah, it's Peacemaker, right? Yes. Yeah. Peacemaker. Let me no, double check thing. before I get. Yeah, Peacemaker. God. <laughs> So what, no, the peacekeeper is like that is a different character I'm thinking of, um, but yeah. So you got peacemaker, we got Blue Beetle, we got the Flash, we have Shazam, uh, Black Adam, Joker and then, Two. Oh yeah, Joker Two. So we kind of have all that stuff, uh, and I think that's like fine. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. we have like the Batman and stuff, but so keep doing the Batman. We're getting Joker Two. I kind of wish that they would have low key though combined Joker two with Batman. Like it would have been kind of in the same universe, but of course for the Batman. I think it could still happen yeah. though. Well, I mean, there's like three Jokers, so you can technically have multiple. But it, I don't know if they're willing to go that route, and that's kind of a little complicated. But with that being said, I Another think uh, <laughs> James Cameron. Uh, yeah, no, another. Uh, I don't know, Avatar's not really a superhero, though. It kind of feels like that. But, um... But James Cameron, though, he... I, I don't know, you were saying he was kind of... He's, he's a little saucy, I guess, because he was like, it's going to be longer than two hours. It's going to... So the movie's going to be three hours, right? It's confirmed yeah. three hours long, and he's already telling people, if you Get put in the it. review, that it's three hours long, <laughs> don't talk to me, basically. He's like, you're dumb. Yeah, that's kind of He said a lot more like, vulgar, which is what, like, I yeah. kind of don't agree with, but, you know. But, you know, yeah, dude, like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, if you use the bathroom, go to the bathroom. But uh, I'm fine with the longer movies. Sometimes I wish, I kind of miss shorter movies that were, like, an hour 45, hour 50. I don't, I don't, it's like, quick, quick adventure, in and out, that's it, right? And then you're done. Uh, sometimes I feel like they do two-hour movies just because, like, they don't add anything of value. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's I so, think that's going to be the issue with Avatar Two. <laughs> I mean, well, because I was going to say I don't know how much like how much of it is just like cool shots, right? Like it's like I, I don't mind uh, the cool shots, but it's like I don't know if it's kind of just like going to be like, hey, remember nostalgia? Remember how this movie was? I, I hope it's not a lot of that, but I don't think James Cameron's going to do that. But. uh Apparently, and I didn't know this, they're going to make like four, five, six, an infinite amount of avatars. Yeah, a lot of avatar. You didn't know they, that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they're going to do like, I didn't know it was going to be like, oh, we're just going to start pumping them out. He already did three as well. Or, or well, they're starting, they're working on three. Um, Yeah, they're working on three, Yeah. but he might pass it on. But four is not confirmed yet, but he wants to do four. And that's, I don't know, man. It, it's getting kind of interesting here because it's like, I just, just, why? Was it why, a good movie not? worthy of six avatars is the question. Yeah. The only one that could do six movies is either Star Wars or Fast and Furious. <laughs> There's no in between. <laughs> like, Avatar, the first Avatar was good. Okay, sure. But th does it age well? No. And so when he's making part two, he has to somehow give us the same feeling that everybody had on part one, but with the new stuff which is so hard to do because everything's already been done everything's really good so it's like what what is he, what's he gonna do crazy cgi thing he's gonna do yeah i i don't i don't really know but well okay so the so okay so it says here the way of water right second one mm -hmm. set to hit theaters december 16th so again at this year third film Trying to get released 2024, so we're oh, wow. so we're we're looking at like two for years. this one. I don't yeah. Well, for this one right here, I don't really think it's gonna be like super crazy in the CGI. I think like maybe the ones in the future they're gonna try to do something a little bit more crazier. Hmm. But I don't because they're gonna do like five six plus movies. Like what what is there to tell, dude? Like I don't I don't well, get it. Okay, so if that's the case, 
Avatar 2 is probably just going to be a setup movie and it's going to suck. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I think. I think Avatar 2 is going to be like, all right, let's, let's kind of... Here's the big bad or whatever. We're going to flesh out the world a bit more. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And it's going to be kind of boring probably because they're going to have to be like, hey, uh, there's these now and there's that. And there's another war, and they want our resources again. But there's this new resource because they found, and that's why we're now. I don't know if it's going to be like that. But it's it's going to be kind of annoying, though, I feel like, to sit Ugh. through this movie because it's probably going to be a lot of, like, feeding us information for the third movie. That is So they've already planned out that they're making the third one. So, yeah. of course, elements from the third one. We're not going to get payoff to the third one. So we this one, I'm willing to bet you and me were probably going to be like, I didn't like it that much. But then we're going to go watch the third one. And then we'll be like, oh, okay, we get it. So that's going to be hard because that's 2024, that's, right? So oh. it's two years from now that we're going to get payoff if we're lucky. But see, they shouldn't so, have even announced Avatar 3 because now, you know, this one's going to either not really have a fleshed out story, but it's going to be on the cliffhanger. And it's like, yeah, well, most like, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just not really looking forward <sighs> to Avatar. I think it's like, it's just. They look weird now. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm going to say it. Blue people, do we really want this? No, I don't. Stick with Smurfs. I don't know, man. I don't know, because, <sighs> I mean, we've gone, I don't know, we, we, we've gone this far without Avatar. You and know, nobody, really, nobody wanted it, right? <laughs> no one is like, yeah, we need another Avatar. Avatar? Two, three, four. I don't know. I guess, I, I don't know, because, like, people seem interested in the movie, but I don't know how many people we're going to get to go to the theater to watch it. Right, like unless they get memes, to like like for like Minion, I don't know if they're gonna make that much because, like you said, right, like Top Gun, Elvis, Jurassic Park, Minions, they've made a ton of money now, mm -hmm. right? They made a bunch of money, so people are like, oh, maybe movies are back, but we don't. From what I understand, we're not getting too much. I mean, we still had Lightyear, which didn't do as well. Yeah, because well, right? even the article it said that they're still kind of worried because there's nothing really coming out. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, it's uh, Thor's coming out, right? We're getting mm -hmm. Thor, uh, we're getting Nope, and then we're getting, of course, the best movie of all time, DC League of Super Pets, right? Like we're we're, we're getting. I'm literally gonna see that. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> it's I it's kind of it. dumb, but I am gonna watch it. But <laughs> uh, so like we are getting that. Like I mean, of course, you know, like Nope, I'm looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Is uh, that all this month? Yeah, that's the twenty oh, second July. So we got Thor: Love and Thunder, right? Which is it's gonna be okay. You were saying that people were kind of iffy on that, like they're so saying it's like it's a mess. It. They're trying to make it a rom com, but it's like action, but it's just like all over the place, and it's not. So it's kind of happening good... like so. It's like it's probably like kind of like Thor: The Dark World kind of vibes. Oh where It's God. just like what what's kind of going on here? If I it's that see. bad, Ricky, I'm done with Marvel. <laughs> I need a reason to stop watching Marvel movies. <laughs> no, I'm going to watch it because I'm an NPC, so I'll um, watch it. Like but... I said, I'm there to watch it for Natalie Portman and Thor's booty. That's literally the only reason there I'm going. There you go. They know that the movie's so bad that they had to be like, Chris, we're going to need you. <laughs> Chris yeah. Hemsworth. Can you please we're gonna... <laughs> Yeah. We're but gonna see, okay, but see, because I, I follow a lot of, on YouTube, I watch a lot of, like, uh, interviews with, like, celebrities or whatever. Because I don't know why, but anyways, but so they cut out scenes with Jeff Goldblum, which I'm kind of pissed off about. He got cut. Yeah. Why and did then, they cut and him? And then so, and then, oh, what's her name? The girl from Game of Thrones. I can't remember. No, 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 no. You skipped over that too much. You don't, you don't just cut out Jeff like that, man. Well, no, just, I know, like, but I had to, I have to make the that, point. That's like, that's like, why would you do that? Like, <laughs> like it makes no sense, but go. Well, continue. I have him in the movie, first of all. Anyways, but yeah, so you're gonna the, cut him yeah, the girl, and same thing with the girl from from Game of Thrones. I can't remember her name. But she's getting sued by, I think, her, her agent or whatever because she was in this movie, but all her scenes were cut. And so now she's not making money from it, and now her agency is suing her. So... I don't, I don't know what the heck, like, why are they cutting two of the big actors, like Jeff Goldblum, who was actually important in Thor Ragnarok? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess they just made him, like, a joke in this one or something, but, like, why would you cut two very important people? I don't know what the girl was going to do. And then they even cut for Christian Bale, they, they cut a scene from him where he's, like, screaming or whatever, and they cut that because there's, like, too much, so... 
I don't know why they're chopping up this movie. And I can kind of see why now. There's like, oh, yeah, it's a mess of a movie. It's like, hmm, wonder if those scenes were important. Oh, yeah. So those scenes were important. Maybe they maybe they wanted to introduce characters later. Maybe they mm. decided not they it was too many things. I don't know, but yeah, like it doesn't make me too happy when you start cutting scenes like that and it's like, well why why did they do that to my boy Jeff? Yeah, but, but yeah, seriously, why Jeff Goldblum? Like, oh my god. Yeah. I love him. But uh, yeah, I like this character, right? Like it was good. Um but maybe that's why, like, cause they're just kind of chopping it all up together. Of course, you know. This phase has been kind of weird. I feel like a little mm -hmm. awkward for some people, a transitionary phase, because we've kind of got, come down from the hype of the Infinity War saga, and then now we're kind of slowly going back to, like, a base level again to kind of set up, you know, some other stuff. But with that being said, um, I think my preemptive kind of, like, rank, I guess, for uh, a rating, I should say, for Thor Love and Thunder, it's probably going to be like a 7. I think it's going to be okay. Mm. I think it's going to be... Well, it's not okay. It's, it's going to be good, but it's not going to be Ragnarok. Uh, but it's not going to be like Thor 1 and 2. I think it's going to be good, mm. entertaining, but it's not going to be like anything crazy. It's going to be a 6. You think so? Yep. All right, so we'll see. We'll have to we'll have to come back to the footage and see. I would love to be wrong, exactly. honestly. <laughs> like I hope it's good. I really do, because it's like, why do I want to pay mon money to see a movie that's bad? But yeah, so definitely, I do want to see Nope DC League of Super Pets. We'll end up watching too, most likely. Uh, <laughs> oh, I do want to see Bullet Train with uh, Brad. Oh, Pitt. with uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, that looks pretty interesting. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, there's so there are things coming up that are good, but. We haven't been getting like back to back hitters. Mm -hmm. Like, we had to wait. Yeah, like, because it was basically like Top Gun, Jurassic Park. Well, it was Jurassic Park, then Top Gun, right? I forgot what it was, but the order. But yeah, we've been getting mm -hmm. a lot of like these movies. Like, I felt like we've been going to the theater like every other week because it's been, or like, you know, just because there's so much stuff. Good thing we had but, that movie um, pass. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, but I guess the last thing I want to say though. So I, I was watching something called Severance on Apple TV. Uh, uh, it's like a TV series that they oh. did. Apple TV. I, I don't like Apple. I'm not a big fan of them. But gosh, man, that TV show is so good. I've so, heard about okay, it. Okay, yeah, because people have been saying like to watch it. Uh, and then because my brother told me about it. And then I was like, oh, okay, like we'll watch it. We'll see what's up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, ah, I'll watch like one, maybe two episodes. Because they're long. They're like 45 minutes to like an hour. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, what the heck? This is weird. What's going on, man? And then it got we got left on the biggest like cliffhanger. And it's so good. It's gotten confirmed that it's going to get a second season. And so uh, we're probably not getting that till next year. But Severance, man, it's good. I'll preach it. Dang. Go watch it. Because it's good. It's also, right, it's been have you seen West, Westworld? No, I haven't seen Westworld. Mm, no, that's that's, that's one I haven't seen. Very good. Stranger Things. I watched the first season, then I lost interest after that. I, I didn't watch Stranger Things after that. Ooh, I'll edit yeah. this part out because we're gonna get canceled. <laughs> Stranger Things is great. But, All right. No, I mean it's not. <laughs> it's not a bad series. It's just like I think, like for me, it's like I, yeah, dude. It was just my indie side being like, oh well. I like to be four years old. Oh cool. my god! Maybe gosh. that's what it was. Watch, I mean, like, watch like, Westworld. That one, uh, that Westworld? one's, that one's a good like WTF. Dang. Of course, right. watch it alone because no, it, it the third season came out like not too long ago. Oh, uh, because I thought the I forgot which one that my dad was saying that got canceled or something like that. And it was pretty good, and they just left on a cliffhanger. No, not but, Westworld. All right, all right, but yeah, go 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 play Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig when it comes out. <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that's that's my ending message here, guys. Watch Severance, then go play your Peppa Pig game, and then we got some good Game Pass games coming. <laughs> since, like, all right, <sighs> thank you guys for listening. I think we'll wrap up here today. Uh, you know, like, follow us on our Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media platforms we are at. Past Pop Culture on pretty much everything. Check out our Twitch. Uh, we play games every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three o'clock. Pacific Standard Time, and we'll usually notify you guys on our social medias that when we're going live, so that's always a good reason why to follow us. Um, if you enjoyed today's episode, we'd very much 
enjoy if you can leave a a like, a subscribe, a thumbs up, however it works on whatever platform that you're listening to on. Drop a good review. Five stars. I very much appreciate it. Anything helps. And I think that's it. I think we're all good. I think we'll be signing off. Peace.